Okay, so this is the Scottish Terrier that you're going to be making. And this is um, in black, but I'm going to show you how to make it in gray. And I just wanted to give you a close-up. Here's his little hat. Okay, for my Scottish Terrier that I made um, in black, I used the Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo, and this is the black color, but it doesn't show up very well on video, so that's why I'm going to use gray instead. And if you make your own nose, I used Karen Simply Soft for the nose, and I'll show you how to use it, even though I'm going to use this nose for um, the project that I'm doing and this is animal noses but I will show you how I made the nose for my black Yorkie using the Karen Simply Soft for just the nose and for the eyes I'm using a 15 millimeter for the gray Scottish Terrier that I'm making so this is what the eyes look like on the black Yorkie and this is what the nose looks like with the Karen Simply Soft Let's see if I can bring that out a little bit you can see the difference between the Red Heart Super Saver and then the Karen Simply Soft for the nose and if you want the pink tongue like I did for the um, Scottish Terrier then you're going to need the Karen Simply Soft and this is the light pink. So on the black Scottish Terrier, I used the Suncatcher Craft Eyes, the 12 millimeter. But on the gray one, I'm going to use the um, Derrico. See if I can bring that in. Solid black eyes. And this is the 15 millimeter. So you can see the size difference. So it's just a preference on what you want. They're both safety lock eyes but I'm just going to go with a little bigger eye for the gray Scottish Terrier. Now on the gray Scottish Terrier, I decided to go ahead and get this heart for the collar. And this is by Derrico Jewelry Designer, and it was on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed this one. But I'm going to show you how to make one as well. And then for the body of the Scottish Terrier, I used my G-hook, or 4 millimeter crochet hook. And then for the hat and the collar, I used a J crochet hook or 6 millimeter crochet hook. And then you're going to need your tapestry needle as well as a pair of scissors. And for the main color, I'm using the Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo. And this is gray heather. And then for the fur, I'm going to use the Homespun Lion Brand yarns, and this color is Edwardian. Let's see if I can bring that in. This one doesn't want to. Edwardian. There we go. And for the um, collar, I used Red Heart Super Saver, and this is a cherry red. And then I also used. Karen Simply Soft, and this one is just regular white, and this green is a dark sage. And you can use any ribbon color that you want to tie the bow on the hair, but I used this yellow ribbon, and this is 100% polyester, polyester ofray. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is the snout for the Scottish Terrier. So I'm going to start with the Red Heart Super Saver Gray Heather. And we're going to do a magic circle. So go ahead and just drape the yarn across your four fingers. And then you stabilize it with your thumb. And then just wrap it around your two middle fingers twice. And then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And then take your G crochet hook or four millimeter crochet hook. You're going to go under those two loops. Go ahead and get the yarn. 
turn the hook upside down and bring that yarn underneath the two loops. And then you're going to go ahead and bring up a loop, take the yarn, bring it through the loop, and bring it up for your slip knot. And now you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. So you're going to go into the magic circle, bring up a loop, yarn over, go through both loops on the hook for one single crochet. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then take your forefinger and thumb and hold the base of the six single crochet. And then you have your two loops on the outside of the magic circle. You're going to pull on one. And if it closes, you'll go ahead and close it all the way. If it doesn't, then let go and pull on the other one. But this one's closing, so go ahead and close the magic circle. And then take the loose yarn in and pull on that. Don't pull it too tight. You can always close it later. And now you're going to put two single crochet into each stitch. So you're going to go into that first stitch and you're going to do two single crochet into that stitch. So bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for one single crochet. Go in the same stitch, bring up a loop, Yarn over, go through both for two single crochet. So go ahead and do two single crochet in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 single crochet. And then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Your work should look like this. And you should have done 12 single crochet around the magic circle. And now we're just going to close that hole in the center. So go ahead and turn your work over and just pull on that loose yarn strand on the back. And then that closes up the magic circle nicely. So now you just need a yarn marker. And I'm just going to use a little excess on my um, end of the yarn from the magic circle. And just put it, the yarn marker right where you left off. And now we're going to do an increase round. So in that first stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. So you're going to bring up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and go through both for one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. One. Two. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now you're going to take your yarn marker and move it up to where you left off. And we're going to do another increase round. So now in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. And the second stitch. You're going to do one single crochet. And then in the third stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. One and two. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up to the next row. Put the yarn marker right where you left off. And this is going to be our last increase round. And what you're going to do is in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. Second stitch, one single crochet. 
third stitch, one single crochet, and then in the fourth stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch, one, two. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker, and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up to where you left off. And now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch all the way around. So in the next stitch, you're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And you're going to do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. And you're going to do that for nine rows. And after you've completed nine rows, Come back and I'll show you what to do next. You should have finished nine rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we're going to do a slip stitch. Go ahead and take your hook and go into the next stitch over. And then you're going to grab the yarn with your hook and then bring it through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to go ahead and finish off. Go ahead and yarn over and bring the yarn through the loop and then bring enough yarn through to sew onto your work. And you're done with the snout. So now we're going to go ahead and do the head. So we're going to go ahead and put the snout aside because we'll come back to it to finish it. We're going to go ahead and start on the head. And the first thing we're going to do with the same color is a slip knot. So go ahead and take the yarn and fold it over on itself to form a loop and take your same size crochet hook, the G hook, four millimeter crochet hook and then just grab the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb and then you're going to hook the yarn, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through the loop for a slip knot. And now you're going to make 16, a chain of 16. So go ahead and yarn over and bring the yarn through the loop for one. I'm just going to show you four of them. Two, three, four. So go ahead and do 16, a chain of 16, and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should have a chain of 16. Go ahead and hold on to that last stitch that you made. And then you're going to go ahead and chain one. This is going to be your first chain for the next row. And then you're going to go in the second chain from the hook, which is the stitch that you're holding. You're going to go into that second stitch. You're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over. And then go through both loops on your hook for your first single chain. And then you're going to do one single chain into every stitch all the way back to the beginning. I'm just going to show you a couple. So I'm going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And you're just going to do that in every stitch all the way back to the beginning. And then come back and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, and this is how your work should look. So now for the next row, you're just going to chain one, turn your work, and you can see how you have a little upsloping at the base of that first chain that you did. You're not going to work there. You're going to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. So you're going to go into that next stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet, and then you're going to do one single crochet in every stitch back across. <clears throat> and you're going to do that for 16 rows, and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. This is how your work should look. You should have completed 16 rows, and when you're done, we're going to go ahead and finish off. Go ahead and yarn over and turn the hook upside down and bring the loop through. And just leave enough to sew into your work. 
So you're going to need two of these, just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the side panel. So you're going to use the same color, and we're going to do our slip knot. So you go ahead and fold the yarn over on itself to form a loop, and we're using the same size crochet hook, the G hook, or four millimeter. Take your middle finger and your thumb, hold it at the base, and then grab the yarn, turn the hook upside down, and bring it through the loop for a slip knot. And now you're going to do a chain of 48. And I'm just going to show you four of them. So you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for one, two, three, four. So you're going to make a chain of 48, and then come back, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should have finished your chain of 48. And so now you're going to hold that last stitch you made, and you're going to do a chain one. So you're going to grab the yarn, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for your first chain for the next row. And now you're going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook, which is the um, stitch that you're holding. So go ahead and yarn over. Oh, no yarn over. Sorry about that. Now go into the second chain from the hook. And you're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops for a single crochet. And you're going to do one single crochet in every stitch all the way back across. I'll do one more with you. So in every stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to go into that next stitch, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both. So go ahead and do a single crochet in every stitch all the way back across. And then you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to do eight rows of this. And then come back, and I'll show you what to do next. When you're finished with your eight rows, go ahead and finish off. And make sure you have your two squares done, and then I'll show you how to sew all your pieces together. All right, so you should be done with your strip. And what you're going to do is we're going to um, line up your two squares that you made, because this is going to be the front of the face, and then, of course, the back. And we're going to take the strip, and we're going to sew it like this. So the first thing you're going to do is line up the top square, you can put your back side of the head away to the side, and then you're going to take and tie a knot with your loose yarn ends. And then just take your tapestry needle, and we're going to sew along the edge. If you don't um, have a long enough yarn end off the strip that you made, go ahead and just cut a piece of yarn to use, and then you can just weave it through the top stitches, and then you can tie a knot. Just leave enough as you go in that you can tie a knot with any loose yarn end that you have. And then what you're going to do is just weave your tapestry needle back and forth on that superficial stitch and sew the pieces together. And when you reach the end, just come back and then I'll show you how to turn that corner. Okay, so I've reached the corner, so you're just going to fold the strip and then we're going to work along the sides here. And if your strip, if you fold it down and you have a little excess on the end, don't worry about it because we're going to fold it back and the side that's going to show is this outside portion and you're not going to be able to see that folded flap. So don't worry if it extends a little bit longer than it should. So now you're just going to go ahead and turn the corner and you're just going to keep doing the same thing. You're just going to weave your tapestry needle in and out until you've sewn 
all the way around to the end and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, this is how your work should be looking and you can see that I have a little excess hanging off of the edge so I'm just going to fold that back on itself like this and then I'm just going to take my tapestry needle and then just sew it together. And then I'm just going to take, once I reach the end of that flap, I'm just going to tie a knot. And then you can leave a little bit, this is going to be on the inside, so you can leave a little excess yarn so the knot will stay in better, less likely for it to come out. And you can see how your work, this is what it's going to look like on the outside. So now we're just going to turn it back inside out. And now you're going to sew the other square on. Now with your back side square, make sure that your stitches are lined up, that you don't have it one going um, vertical and one horizontal. Make sure they're both going horizontal. And then once you have it lined up, if you have any loose yarn ends, you can just use them to tie a knot. And then you're just going to get your tapestry needle with some yarn and you're just going to sew it the same way that you did the front. And then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so when you turn your work inside out, you can see that your project has a nice square look for the um, Scottish Terrier's head. So now we're going to work on the ears. And I've already finished one ear, so I'm going to show you how to make the other ear. Um, because the ears, once you have the ears placed, then you can tell where to place the eye and the snout for the head. just helps you to line it up better. So I'm going to show you how to make the ear. So you're going to get your yarn, and we're going to do a magic circle. So you just kind of drape the yarn over your four fingers and use your thumb to help stabilize. And then drape the yarn around your two middle fingers twice, and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And then take your crochet hook. I'm still using the G four millimeter crochet hook. Go under those two loops, grab the yarn, and bring up a loop. And then you're going to yarn over. Turn the hook upside down and just go through that loop for a slip knot. And then you're going to do three single chains or single crochet into the magic circle. So you're going to go under the two loops, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through both loops for one single crochet. Two single crochet. and three single crochet and then you're going to take your forefinger and thumb and you're going to go to the base of those three single crochet and then you have your two loops on the opposite side I'm going to go ahead and pull on one of those if it doesn't pull let go and pull on the other one this one's pulling so I'm going to close it don't pull it too tightly because you want to be able to work into your stitches you can always close it more later and then take your loose yarn end and pull on that and then you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch. So in that first stitch, go under both loops, bring up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, and then go through both for one single crochet, and then the same stitch, you're going to do another single crochet, and then the next stitch over, you're going to do two more single crochet, one, two, so now we have a total of four single crochet and then in the next stitch over you're going to do two more one, two, 
Okay, so for this step, you can use a yarn marker if you want, but I'm just going to count. I'm going to do two rows of one single crochet into every stitch. So I know that I have six, so I'm going to do just one single crochet in six stitches. So this next stitch is going to be one single crochet, two, three, four, five, and six. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn it inside out. So I have the pointy end on the outside. And then I'm going to do six more single crochet, one single crochet in every stitch, but I'm just going to count one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now I'm going to use a yarn marker. So I'm going to go ahead and I already have a loose strand of yarn. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm just going to use that. So put the yarn marker right where you left off. And now you're going to do one single, you're going to do an increase round. So we're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch. And then two single crochet into the second stitch. One. And then two. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet in one stitch and two single crochet in the next stitch. And then come back and I'll show you what to do next. So I'm almost back to my yarn marker and I have one more stitch left. So I'm just going to do one single crochet into that last stitch. And then we're going to do another increase round. So we're going to go ahead and take the yarn marker and move it up to the next row. And on this, incre this increase round, we're going to do the same thing. Into the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. And then in the second stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. One and two. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so go ahead and move your yarn marker up to the next where you just left off for the next row. And now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch for five rows. So I'm going to do a couple with you. In the next stitch, I'm going to do one single crochet. Next stitch, one single crochet. And you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch all the way around for five rows and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. So you should have finished five rows. One, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch. So in the next stitch over, you're going to go ahead and bring up, go ahead and grab the yarn and then bring it through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off, just yarn over and bring the yarn through that loop and leave enough yarn that you can sew the ear on. And then you should make two ears. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to place the ears in relation to the eyes. So to help you do that, um, I go ahead and place the eyes in, but I don't put the safety backing on yet. We'll do that once you know where you want to position your eyes. So how I position my eyes is decide which side you want to be the front and which to be the back. And then once you've done that, these are going to be kind of like the eyebrows where you're going to put some hair for your Scottish Terrier. So I put my eyes in about two stitches and then one stitches down 
And the same thing with this side. And then what you're going to do is take your first ear and make sure you get your tapestry needle and thread ready to sew. And you're going to line up the ear and usually the inside of the ear is going to come down about even with the inside of the eye. And you want the ear to stick straight up on top of the head. So once you have it lined up how you like, then you're going to take your tapestry needle and you're going to bring the needle and yarn down and sew and come in and out of the ear from the inside and the outside and you're just going to sew your ear on. So you're just going to keep going in and out and sewing your ear into place. So go ahead and sew both ears onto your project and then come back and then I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so now once you have your ears sewn on and with mine I ended up with three stitches in between the ears and you can see how the eyes are lined up how I want them so now on the back you can just put your safety latches on alright so now we're going to work on the snout so you're just going to figure out which way you want your snout to be if you want up or down or how you want your snout and then once you've done that you can go ahead and set your side your head to the side and for my nose I'm going to use see I'm going to put it right on here I'm using um, a plastic nose so this has a safety latch on the for the back and you can see how I put it on if you decide that you would like to use the plastic nose as well so with this one I think I'm going to move it up one more so you just kind of place your nose how you want I'm also going to show you how to do a crochet one if you don't want to use a plastic nose and just make sure that your nose is going to be in the right place for your Scottish Terrier and you're going to hang the hair here so you want your nose to be towards the top of the snout and once you have your nose where you want it then you can go ahead and put your safety latch on but now I'm going to show you how to make a crochet nose if you want to so do that so this is instead. the Karen Simply Soft yarn that I'm using the black and the first thing you're going to do is just do your slip knot so I'm going to fold over and make a loop use my J I mean G hook four millimeter crochet hook and then just take your middle finger and thumb to hold the base of the loop and then you're going to yarn over turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through that loop for a slip knot and then you're going to chain six one two three four five six and then on the second chain from the hook you're going to go into the second chain from the hook and you're going to do three single crochet. So you're going to bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, and you have one, two, three. So you're going to do three single crochet in that same stitch and then you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch back to the beginning stitch. So I'm doing a single crochet into every stitch back to that last or beginning stitch. And then in the last stitch, you're going to do six single crochet into that last stitch. So here's one. 
two. And then as you're working, you're going to bury that loose yarn end. Just work around that loose yarn end until you have six single crochet into that end stitch. So here's four, five, and six. And you can see how it makes a little hole there. That's a nostril. And then in the next stitch over, you're going to do a single crochet. And then you're going to do a single crochet in every stitch back to that end stitch. So there's one. Here's two. And then the next stitch is one more single crochet in that next stitch for three. And then in the end, I'm back to my last end stitch where I did three single crochet. I'm going to do three more into that hole. So three single crochet in the same stitch. One. Two. three and then you're going to go into the next stitch over and you're going to do a slip stitch so you're going to bring that yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and you can see how you have two nostrils let me see if I can there we go so you have one here and then one here. So now on the edge, you're going to do one single crochet all the way around twice and then come back and I'll show you the end product. Okay, so when you've done one single crochet in every stitch around for two rows, then you're going to do a slip stitch. So you'll go into your next stitch over and then you bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and then you're going to finish off by bringing enough yarn in to sew your nose onto the product. And you can take your loose yarn end that you buried and go ahead and snip that, cut it, and then you have your, I'm not going to, because um, I'm going to save this yarn, but since I'm using the other nose, but you can see, it's kind of hard to see with this, but um, this would be your nose on the snout and you would sew it the same way you would just um, cover the nose so that it's lined up with the snout and you do the hair on the sides now if you don't like the open nostrils that are on this one and you can see it when I bring it up closer then you can take your tapestry needle and just sew them shut and you'll have a cute nose for your Scottish Terrier. And once you have your nose sewn on to your snout, we're going to go ahead and make the tongue. So now I'm going to show you how to make the tongue. For the tongue, I'm using the Karen Simply Soft, and this is soft pink. So we're going to do a magic circle. You're going to go ahead and take the yarn and drape it across your four fingers and stabilize it with your thumb, and then wrap around twice on your two middle fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb and I'm still using my G hook or four millimeter crochet hook and just go under the two loops and grab the yarn and bring up a loop and then you're going to yarn over turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through that loop for a slip knot and now you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle so you're going to go under the magic circle Okay, sorry about that. So we're going to be doing six single crochet into the magic circle. So I'm going to go ahead and get your yarn, bring a loop up. You have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, go through both for, um, and this is going to be my first single crochet. And we're going to do a total of six single crochet into the magic circle. It's two. 
three, four, five, and six. And then just take your forefinger and your thumb and then grab the base of the six single crochet and then you have the two loops on the opposite side. You're just going to pull on one. If it doesn't close, you let go and pull on the other one until it closes and don't pull it too tightly. Take the loose strand and pull on that and you just want to pull it just enough to where you um, close up the hole of the magic circle and then go ahead and chain one. So you grab the yarn and go through your loop for chain one and then you're going to turn your work and then you're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. So here you can see a little upslope at the base of your first chain one that you did. You're not going to go into that stitch. You're going to go into the next stitch over and then you're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through both for one single crochet and you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch back across and here's fourth stitch and then the fifth one <clears throat> and then you're going to go ahead and finish off so you go ahead and yarn over and then bring enough yarn through to sew the tongue onto the snout. So you're going to want to pull on the original yarn strand that you had to close up the magic circle. Just pull it snugly and then take your um, tapestry needle and you're going to sew your tongue on to the snout and so what I did was right below the nose about a um, skip a stitch and then you're going to go in with your tapestry needle and you can see how the tongue looks on the snout and then go ahead and get your tapestry needle and the side that you're going to be sewing the tongue on, go ahead and put that onto your tapestry needle. Then make sure your tongue is lined up and even with the nose. And then you're just going to go into the snout and finish sewing it on. And then tie a knot on the inside and just sew right across the top only because you want the tongue to flap up. And then when you're done, come back. Okay, so your tongue should be sewed on to the snout. So you can go ahead and set that aside. And then go ahead and grab your head again. And you're going to go ahead and start at one of the sides. And I usually start where there's a loose yarn in that I could tie a knot to. And then I'm going to start from, let's see, I'll start from this side over here because I'm going to work across this way. So I'm going to go ahead and get my same yarn color that I used for the head and then you're going to go ahead and take your yarn and grab it and bring it through and leave enough yarn that you can tie your knot and then go ahead and do a single crochet so yarn over and go through your loop for a single crochet and then take your loose yarn end and make sure you tie a knot And you can use a yarn marker here if you like, if it will help you keep track. So I'm going to use one of my pink yarn strands. And that will just help me. So you can either use this yarn marker or you can just keep track of one of your eyes as a way. But I'm just going to use a yarn marker. And you're going to do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around back to the yarn marker and you're going to do that for seven rows and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. So one single crochet in every stitch all the way around for seven rows. Okay so you should have finished your seven rows of one single crochet in every stitch and here you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. 
So what you're going to do now is go ahead and just leave a loop there as you work. And you can go ahead and take your yarn marker out because now we're going to go ahead and stuff your snout and then we're going to line up our snout on the head. Okay, so you want to take your, I used an old pillow, um, a cheap pillow that I bought from Walmart and you just take some stuffing and put it into your snout and then you're going to take your snout and you're going to line it up and you want to line it up so that it's right below the eyes and this nose is not crooked and if you notice this pattern can also work as a Great Dane also but anyway go ahead and take your tapestry needle and you're going to go ahead and sew so once you have your snout in position then you're going to take your tapestry needle and you're going to sew it onto the head and just be careful you don't you, uh, sew your loop for the head get that tangled into your yarn that you're using to sew the snout on so you want to position the snout so it's as wide as possible on both sides as you're sewing but yet your nose will still be centered where it should be and then you want to pull the bottom part of the snout out as you're sewing as well so go ahead and sew your snout onto the head and then come back and I'll show you the next step when you're sewing on the snout I found it helpful to start up in here and line up evenly on both sides and then work your way down and line up your snout in a position that you like and sew so the last part you'll snow is probably down here along here and then that helps to even it out and get your nose straight the way you like it okay and then you just kinda smash the nose so it's at an angle down and you have the snout sewed on so now we're just gonna finish sewing the head closed okay so now go ahead and stuff the head with the um, pillow stuffing and then you're gonna go ahead and get your yarn marker you're gonna need a yarn marker right where you left off and then still with your G hook or four millimeter crochet hook now you're gonna do one single crochet in two so in the next stitch you're gonna do one single crochet and then the next stitch over one single crochet and make sure that this yarn marker yeah okay I'm gonna pull it back through so so far in two stitches we've done one single crochet in each one and now we're going to do a decrease so we're going to sew crochet two together so in the next stitch you're going to bring up a loop you have two loops on the hook then you're going to go right into the next stitch you're going to bring up a loop then you have three loops on the hook you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through all three on the hook for a um, decrease and then you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. I'm going to do one more with you and do one single crochet in one stitch one single crochet in the second stitch and then you're going to do a decrease so you're going to go into the next stitch bring up a loop go into the next stitch bring up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over and bring the yarn through all three for a decrease. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you. Okay, what so I'm next. almost back to the yarn marker and I only have two stitches left. So I'm just going to do a single crochet in each of those stitches. And then I'm going to go ahead and remo remove the yarn marker and move it up to where I left off. And now we're going to do one single crochet and then a decrease. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. 
and then you're going to do a decrease. So you're going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, and then you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through all three for a decrease. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back around to the yarn marker and then come back. And okay, I'll show so go ahead and take your next. yarn marker and move it up to the next row right where you left off. And now we're going to do one single crochet into every stitch. So into the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. And you're going to do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. And you're going to do that for three rows. And then come back. Okay, so you should have finished three rows, one, two, three, and now we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch. So in the next stitch over, go ahead and bring up, bring the yarn and bring it through both loops on the hook. And now we're going to finish off, go ahead and yarn over and just bring it through and just enough to um, sew into the work. And then you can go ahead and set the head to the side, and I'm going to show you how to make the body. Okay, so we're going to do the magic circle. So you go ahead and take the yarn and drape it across your four fingers, and then stabilize it with your thumb, and then just wrap it around your two middle fingers twice, and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And then I'm still working with my G hook, or four, more, four millimeter crochet hook. So you go under the two loops, go ahead and bring up a loop, and then you're going to yarn over and then bring the yarn through that loop for a slip knot. And then you're going to do six single chains, I mean six single crochet into the magic circle. So you're going to go un under the magic circle, bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook, you're going to yarn over and then bring through both loops on the hook for a single crochet. And we're going to do six of them into the magic circle. So that's two three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to take your forefinger and your thumb and you're just going to grip it at the base of the six single crochet and then you have the two loops on the side. You're going to pull on one of them and if it doesn't pull, you let go and pull on the other, but this one's pulling. And just loosely close it, and then take the loose yarn in and pull on that. And then don't worry if your circle isn't completely closed yet, we can close it later. And then we're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12. So in the next stitch, you're going to go under both loops for a single crochet, so you're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And you're going to go in the same stitch and you're going to do another single crochet. So you have two single crochets. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do two single crochets into the same stitch for a total of four. And then you're just going to do that all the way around. Six, eight, ten, and twelve. And now you can turn your work over and close the magic circle. You see that closes up nicely. And then go ahead and take your yarn marker and place it where you left off. And now we're going to do an increase round. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. And then in the second stitch, you're going to do two single crochet into the same stitch. One and two. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, we're going to do another increase round, so go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And for this round, we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So in the next stitch, you'll do one single crochet. 
second stitch, one single crochet, and then in the third stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do another increase round. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next three. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet, second stitch, one single crochet, third stitch, one single crochet, and then you're going to do two single crochet in the fourth stitch. One, two. Okay, and then go ahead and repeat that pattern to the yarn marker. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do another increase round. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next three. So in the next stitch, you're going to do one single crochet, second stitch, one single crochet, third stitch, one single crochet, and then you're going to do two single crochet in the fourth stitch. One, two. Okay, and then go ahead and repeat that pattern to the yarn marker. Okay, so go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now we're going to do one single crochet into the next four. One, next stitch, one for two, next stitch, one for three, and then the fourth stitch, one single crochet. And then in the fifth stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. One, two. And then go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around to the Okay, yarn so we're going to take the yarn marker and move it up again. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. So in the next stitch, you have one single crochet. Second stitch, one single crochet. Third stitch, one single crochet. Fourth stitch, one single crochet. And then the fifth stitch, one single crochet. And then two single crochet in the sixth stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around. Okay, another increase round. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next six stitches. So in the next stitch, it's one, second, one, third, one single crochet, fourth, one single crochet, fifth, one single crochet, and the sixth, one single crochet, and then two single crochet in the seventh stitch. Okay, and then go ahead and repeat that pattern all okay, the way Okay, so around. we have two more increased rounds. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So second stitch, one single crochet, third, one single crochet, fourth, one single crochet, fifth, one single crochet, sixth, seventh. And then the eighth stitch, you're going to do two, two single crochet in the same stitch, one, two, and then go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around. Okay, so this is going to be our last increase round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up, and now we're going to do one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So in the next stitch, you do one single crochet, second stitch, one, third stitch, one single crochet, fourth stitch, fifth stitch, sixth stitch, seventh stitch, and the eighth stitch, one single crochet, and then in the ninth stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch, and then repeat that pattern all the way around.